I am calling this meeting of the Town Council of the Town of Silver City to order. Would you please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> The next item on the agenda requiring action is uh, public input, and and I see there are no one signed up for public input, so we'll move right along to uh, the next item requiring action is uh, councilor comments. Uh, councilor Eamon Smith. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I only have one brief comment, and that's to let the um, public know that the a bicycle master plan, which I started as my first actual official council action, and this is in the final draft stages, and I'm hoping that it will be brought forward to the council in August. And so I just really want to thank the staff and the consultants and the um, folks in the community development who have worked so hard on it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Bettison. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just wanted to uh, let everyone know that uh, on um, Friday of last week, uh, I attended the New Mexico Municipal League Board of Directors meeting um, in Albuquerque with our town clerk, who is the president of the Clerks and Finance Officers Association. And what we uh, did is something that was really vital for our organization, which is having an updated succession plan for the New Mexico Municipal League's executive director. A healthy organization always has a plan in case something happens, and so uh, it was amended and updated, and uh, that information will be coming out once uh, it's been uh, properly gone through and signed. Um, that will be sent out to all of our uh, 106 municipalities. Later that day, right after that, we had the Municipal Tax Reform Committee meeting. Um, it was We had several special guests um, trying to find out what it is and where things are going to be going um, in the potential upcoming special session and in the legislative session. And right now, um, it looks like um, there may be a, a very large tax reform bill coming through in a special, I mean, in the, in the upcoming um, legislative session in 2017. So I will um, make sure that I give more information about that as it comes about and uh, let our folks, um, like the town manager and the mayor, know what we might see coming forward. That Friday in the Albuquerque Journal, I'm going to send it out to the members of the council and I've already posted it to my Facebook uh, website. There was a really great uh, editorial by our executive director of the Municipal League explaining how the League and all the work that the 106 municipalities do is really to ensure and to drive forward the local economies of our municipalities and how vital the League is to ensuring that we create jobs um, that uh, our citizens will have the opportunity to um, become hired in. And the last thing uh, was on Saturday, uh, there was the Resolutions Committee, and the Resolutions Committee uh, went through and um, put forward and agreed upon a number of resolutions. Only one new one was added, and that one I think folks in Silver City will be happy to hear is the request to extend the solar um, tax credit. Yeah, so um, we don't know if that will go through, but we're hoping that that uh, might be something that one of our legislators will take forward and see if we can extend that through the December 2016 deadline so that more people can get involved in um, accessing those solar credits because those tax credits have been expended. They were expended by June of 2016, even though it doesn't. Um, uh, it had a sunset in December of 2016, so those are already gone. So we want to make sure that that's available since we have so much sunlight in New Mexico, especially in the south and especially in southwest New Mexico. So thank you very much. Thank you. Councilor Cano. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just have a quick reminder 
District 4, um, there will be a meeting on August 11th at 6 p.m. at the Rec Center. Uh, Jamie Endick, the Community Development Department Director, is having a meeting to discuss the town's comprehensive plan. And right now we have several RCPs, but we can always use more of them. So hopefully District 4 will come out and give us your opinions. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Ray. Thank you, Mayor. I like this early morning meetings. Everybody's bright eyed and bush to tell them ready to go start the week. Anyway, um, I am enjoying the four way stop sign down on Bowler and uh, Broadway. I hope that the city takes into consideration with the police chief and Mr. Brown and to implement them and having it permanently. Another thing is that I would like to see, and I know I mentioned this before, is for things that have been happening throughout the United States and the, and the, with the policemen. I still would like to see two cops together. And I know that we don't have the resources, I know we don't have enough manpower, but it would be safety, for safety, for, for to have two cops and patrolling at the, together, and together. You know what I mean? No? Yes, to, to walking, it doesn't matter, or in a, in a vehicle. We all know that the ordinance for cell phone took effect Saturday. So I hope that we will enforce it. And again, thank you for coming this morning. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Does any member of the council have any additional comments? I just had a, a couple of things that I wanted to bring to the attention of the council. Uh, uh, I'll be meeting a little bit later today with uh, some of the members of the Main Street Board to talk about the handicap access to the Silco Theater issue that was brought up by Councilor Cano at our last meeting uh, to see how we can solve that. So it's a good experience for everybody. Uh, the other thing I had was one of the items on my uh, campaign platform was I felt like we really needed some good looking first class signs at the three entrances to Silver City, the three main entrances, Highway 90 from Lawrenceburg, 180 from Deming, and 180 from Cliff. And so I've been working with Mr. Brown and, and uh, so we'll be moving forward on looking at some possibilities for that. We, we, we have one rendition from uh, Charlie Deans, but we'll be meeting uh, a little bit later, I think next month, uh, with, uh, with James and also the engineers to see what the possibilities are. And I'm announcing this because uh, we want to make sure that we keep the council involved in all those steps along the way. So as we get different renditions or proposals, I'll keep you up to date on that because I, we do want the city council approval at some point. Um, the next item on the agenda is changes to the agenda. Does the council want to make any changes to the agenda? Okay, no changes. The next item is the approval of minutes of the June 27, 2016 special meeting and the July 12, 2016 regular uh, meeting. Do I hear a motion on the June 27, 2016 special meeting? Councilor Eamon Smith. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the special council meeting of the town of service meeting from June 27th, 2016. Thank you. Is there a second? Yes, we are a second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Oh, any discussion? <laughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay. Do I hear a motion on the July 12th, 2016, regular meeting? Mr. Mayor. Council Eamon Smith. Thank you. I move to approve the minutes of the regular council meeting of the Town of Service City from July 12th, 2016. Okay. Is there any, uh, is there a second? 
Mr. Mayor. I second the motion and say that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes, yes sir. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. The motion to approve the minutes of the special meeting and the regular meeting carries. <clears throat> the next item on the agenda under reports is item A, staff reports. Uh, Mr. Brown? I, I think we'll go ahead and start with uh, uh, Dr. Terry Timmy to do an update on recycling. Okay, an update on the recycling program? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council. My name is Terry Timmy with the Office of Sustainability. And uh, I wanted to update you on some changes that have been occurring in our recycling program, both in Silver City and in Grant County. Uh, the biggest change uh, became effective July 1 with the discontinuance of the collection of glass. We were trying to repurpose or reuse glass at a local uh, road construction company, and it turned out they weren't able to use it. And in thorough study of what options we had to dispose of glass, uh, the only option we could find that would actually truly recycle glass would be to haul it to Phoenix. And that would end up costing the town about uh, $42,000 a year, and which is a, something beyond the budget of the town or of Southwest Solid Waste Authority. So the decision was made that we would discontinue glass uh, collection at curbside as well as collection at the landfill. So everybody that has glass bottles or uh, glass jars, those now should go into uh, just with household trash. And let a number of people express concern about that, but I wanted to uh, explain that glass is not really a big problem in the landfill. It's inert, so it's not going to cause any damage in the landfill itself. And the amount of glass that we we're collecting is less than 1% of the typical volume of trash that goes into the landfill every year. So it's not going to change the appreciably change the lifespan of the landfill. So recycling of glass is something that we'll keep looking into options for, uh, but for now it'll have to go in the trash. Another reason for re uh, discontinuing glass is that coming up uh, in the fall sometime, we'll be switching the way that we collect the recycling in Silver City. As you know, uh, the uh, town is purchasing new uh, side-loading trucks for the sanitation service, and then we'll start using some of the older sanitation trucks to collect recycling in uh, new uh, curbside carts that will be a different color. We'll be getting green carts so people can distinguish them from the blue carts that are used for trash. And the town will uh, assume the collection of the recycling, but all things else will remain the same. And in order to, uh, you know, I, I wanted to actually provide an update, and this is in your packet, and it'll uh, be updated on the website shortly, and there are some flyers in the back for the audience. And so if, uh, what we have done is kept our same sort of recycling system, which is called single stream or mixed recycling. Everything can go into the, for now, into your uh, cart, your blue cart, and it'll still be picked up until we switch to automated recycling, at which time it'll be collected in automatically in a truck, so it'll save on labor costs, and it'll be much more efficient in terms of uh, time and labor to uh, pick up the recycling that way. And when that happens, that's another reason uh, we have to discontinue glass, because the place where we take all of our recycling uh, does not accept glass. So currently we have tried to keep it separate, uh, but that will be hard to do when we're, all we have is those carts to put it in. It, and if we tried to sort it out at the recycling center at the landfill, it would create uh, a great uh, problem of uh, labor and potential injuries for the workers out there. So I encourage people to look over 
on the website uh, what we do recycle here in Silver City. It's amazing. We have uh, one of the best recycling systems and uh, ability to recycle the most some of the most, more things throughout the state by using our the company that we use in uh, Tucson called ReCommunity. All sorts of papers, as long as it's not contaminated with food, even junk mail. People used to think junk mail you couldn't recycle because of the little glassy envelopes in them, but that's fine. Even if they had, you know, plastic credit cards or, you know, some all the types of junk mail that you get, it's okay to put that in your recycling. Plastics, we take all types of plastics except styrofoam. That's the only type of plastic that should not be put in your recycling stream. Uh, aluminum and metal cans can all go in recycling. Cardboard is particularly important to put in recycling because it has a high market value. We currently, all of our single stream recycling, Greek community pays us about 20 to $25 a ton for what we take them. Cardboard, companies come here and uh, pick it up and pay us close to $100 a ton, depending on the market conditions. So at cardboard, we separate out at the landfill and try to make as much money as we can off of that. We're still collecting small electronics, have an arrangement with a company in uh, Phoenix that uh, will pick up our electronics and pay us a little bit of money for it. The only caveat is that they don't accept uh, uh, CRTs, the old type of computer screens, or TVs. So we aren't able to recycle those. But all other types of electronics, we're, taking, we're having Broadway metals come and pick up. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your time. Council Amen Smith. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. I don't know if the other councilors have experienced this, but I've had a lot of phone calls and emails with people saying, well, surely there's something we can do with that glass. Can't we create countertops? What about tumbling it and using it in mosaics as part of the process? So I just wanted to uh, check and see if you guys had looked at those economic viabilities and have a couple of questions about, like, how much would it cost to actually set up a glass crusher that would be uh, viable for turning what is really just fused sand back into things that look like rocks. So could you speak about that just a little bit? Sure. Yes. Uh, have looked into uh, purchasing a glass crusher. They run anywhere from fifty to $250,000. Uh, the other option would be to take glass to Las Cruces, where they do have a glass crusher. Uh, but the big issue with both proposals is still having to collect the glass if we wanted to continue it as a glass collection. And that would probably cost the town anywhere from uh, twenty to $25,000 a year to go around picking up glass uh, because it couldn't, we couldn't do it with the new uh, single stream collection trucks, the side loading trucks. Uh, it, but it is, you know, it's certainly a wonderful idea to to repurpose glass. And uh, you know, some of the things that people can do, there are uh, uh, a few places around town where people have made walls out of glass bottles that are uh, can be attractive. So you know, I uh, have uh, posted on Facebook. Uh, there's a page called Civil. Excuse me, Silver City Recycles, a couple of different ideas for what people could do with the glass rather than throwing it away. But as a municipality, uh, getting to do that is going to take more creative thought. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other business, Mr. Brown? Uh, I guess the, the only other thing I'll, I want, well, let me add a little bit to that. Um, just, just a reminder that uh, a few months before we actually start the single stream, I mean the recycling collection by the town, we will have to change, change the town ordinance because we will need an enforcement tool uh, to require that people actually put recyclables in the recycling container that we, we're putting out. And this way we can have code enforcement go out and check and make sure that <clears throat> we are getting recyclable materials put in those containers. So we'll, we'll be, be bringing you an ordinance for that uh, later on in the year. Uh, second, um, uh, at a meeting earlier in the year when we were talking about the water meters, as uh, all of you might remember, um, the town of Silver City was awarded a recycling, not a recycling, a um, water. water conservation grant from the ISC in the amount of $500,000. But as of about three weeks ago, when we were already done, 
almost done with the re the meter project. Uh, we still haven't received a, a grant agreement or anything. Uh, we received a grant agreement two weeks ago, um, and the, it still said that everything was based on a reimbursement basis and that we couldn't start the project until they pre-approved all the purchasing, the entire project. Um, I negotiated with them uh, uh, right before I left on vacation, and while I was on vacation, they were actually able to send me an agreement where they would uh, change the start date to December 15th of 2015 and would allow all the expenditures uh, to be, well, up to 500000 to be reimbursed. And uh, we just have to show them that everything was done according to state procurement and all those different methods, which, of course, we did. <clears throat> so, so hopefully we'll be able to, all they have to do is get it past their legal. Uh, so if we can get that, um, then the, the software that was a concern the last time I talked about is how we were going to pay for that. It will be able to be taken care of most definitely. We'll be able to update our accounting and, and billing software uh, to be a lot more user friendly and, and get more information to the customers and, and do those types of things. So hopefully within the next few weeks I'll be able to, I'll know for, for sure. But it's... It's a lot better news than a, a, a month ago. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Brown? Thank you. The next item on the agenda requiring action is uh, item agenda item 11, new business. Item A under new business is the approval slash disapproval of two public celebration permit applications and a waiver of NMSA 1978-60-6B-10 of the prohibition of dispensing of alcoholic beverages within 300 feet of a church or school, event, inform event information, the first Southwest Print Fiesta sponsored by Members Regional Region Arts Council with alcohol service on September the, September 3, 2016 from noon to 11 p.m. Liquor license, license holder information. Uh, one, Little Toad Creek Brewery, number 67021. HC 68, Box 134, Silver City, New Mexico, NM. Two, Little Toad Creek Distillery, number 63004, HC 68, Box 134, Silver City, NM. <coughs> Who will be rep... Oh, Mr. 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 Lechner, go Sorry. ahead. Um, yes, um, members of Regional Arts Council is very excited to um, be piloting a new festival. I, I will say for everybody that the Pickamania Festival that um, is not happening this year has just taken a break. We have to look at a couple things to make it a more viable um, festival. I know there's a lot of people upset with that, but uh, in the meantime, we are doing something a little bit different. It's a visual arts themed uh, fiesta here on, at the Seaboat Gallery on uh, Yankee Street. And available for questions. questions. Council Langman Smith. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Could you please expand a little bit about the street closure and about this rolling thing that you're going to be doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're looking to close the block in front of the Seaboat Gallery, which I think is uh, Yankee Street from Texas to Arizona, just one block. And um, it will have vendor. They, we will have vendors on the street as well as inside the um, courtyard, and uh, we'll be using the, the facility there at Seaboat as well. Um, we're, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. It's called a steamroller print, where we have artists create a 36 inch by 36 inch print. They lay it on the street, and then we take a steamroller and roll it over uh, as the way to make a print. And this is sort of a, something that's been done around the country, and we're bringing it. I think it's the first one in New Mexico and we're really looking to make this a regional event similar to Clayfest but on a much smaller scale um, for
for a different genre, and that's printmaking. And we've already gotten some great response from El Paso and Tucson, and we're looking to um, really have a good time. It's going to be small. It's, it, you know, we're looking at two to 300 people, I think. Uh, but we're hoping to grow that, and this is really a pilot project for this year. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Do I hear a motion? Mr. Mayor. Councilor Ray. I move to approve of two public celebration permit applications in a waiver of NMSA 1978 60-6B-10 for the prohibition of dispensing of alcoholic beverages within 300 feet of a church or school. Event information, the first Southwest print fiesta sponsored by Members Region Arts Council with alcohol service on September 3rd, 2016 from noon to 11 p.m. Liquor license holder information, number one, Little Toad Creek Brewery, license number 67021, HC68, box 134, Silver City, New Mexico, and number two, Little Toad Creek Distillery, license number 63004HC68, box 134, Silver City, New Mexico. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor, I'll second that motion is stated. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion by the council? Yes, sir. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion passes. <clears throat> Item B under new business is the approval slash disapproval of resolution number 2016-15 final quarter financial report year ending June 30th 2016. Mr. Brown? Mayor, uh, about three years ago, uh, the town changed the final budget budget approval process, and whereby uh, before they didn't require that the town council uh, certify the final uh, quarterly report, but now it's required. So we're bringing you this, and then every year we bring you the final budget adjustment and then the final budget. So that, those are the three things that I'll be talking about today. Um, but basically, this is the final quarterly report that we will be turning into DFA. Uh, as you can see from the first column, the beginning cash balances, those were the final balances at the end of last fiscal year. Uh, last fiscal year, we ended up with uh, $490,000 uh, cash balance in the general fund. And uh, this year, we're going to end up at $799,000 uh, in the uh, ending cash balance. Uh, the total cash, because of reimbursements uh, that were outstanding and, and everything that we had on hand at the end of last year, was $719,000. At the end of this year, we're at 3.1 million. So the big part of that is what happened was, of course, the quarterly, the quarter percent that we increased gross receipts taxes by. Uh, we pushed a lot harder this year to uh, get our reimbursements back on a timely manner. Uh, we we're more stringent on how we spent our funds internally, as far as especially grants because that was a lot that at the time that was a lot of the money that was outstanding uh, last year and this was the one thing that the auditor had a concern on was the cash on hand and now you can see we're a little over three four almost four times what we had last year so we fixed that concern it wasn't a problem but it was a concern because all that money was owed to us and especially now that the state is in the situation they're in, we're really concerned they're not going to reimburse us uh, on a timely manner or even at all, maybe in, in some cases. So, um, do you have any questions on, on the quarterly report? Any questions? Councilor Beston. Thank you, Mayor. So, um, I understand that for the special session, they're going to do a sweep. 
So hopefully we won't be caught in the sweep. We'll be able to get our reimbursements. I read, I read that, and that is a, a sweep of uh, ending balances at yeah. the end of the fiscal year that they had. So that shouldn't affect this current fiscal year. That, that's what I understood, too. I want to make sure the public knew that it was mainly, I think, state agencies. Yeah, state, state agency state. funds. Uh, I, I believe they were even looking at the cigarette tax settlement fund. Yes. Uh, so um, those are other funds that wouldn't affect uh, what we're seeing right now okay. uh, as of this year. But if there's any big changes, you know what, we will, especially during that special session, if they will do anything that will affect us, uh, we've actually been meeting already to talk about what uh, actions we might take if, if uh, we are impacted on, by what they do. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Anything else on this item, Mr. Brown? No, sir. Okay. Uh, do I hear a motion then? Mr. Mayor. Councilor Bedston. I move to approve resolution number 2016-15, final quarter financial report year ending June 30th, 2016. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor, a second that motion is stated. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, Ann, please. Councilor Bettison? Aye. Councilor Ana Smith? Aye. Councilor Ray? Aye. Councilor Todd? Aye. Resolution 2016-15 passes. Item C under new business is the approval slash disapproval of resolution number 2016-16 a resolution amending the approved and adopted budget for the physical year commencing July 1, 2015 through July 30th, 2016, and for municipal purpose in the town of Silver City, New Mexico, transferring and appropriating funds thereof. Mr. Brown? Mayor Council, uh, this is a, a basically a change to fiscal year 2016's budget, um, and it's a final change. And basically, what their their new form is is very uh, confusing because it's so summarized. Uh, but but basically, what we did was um, we added uh, grants that were received during the year. There were new grants that weren't budgeted. Uh, during the original process. Uh, we added grants. We deleted some grants that we didn't receive. Uh, there were some, a few grants that um, uh, we increased expenditures because uh, the grant uh, was either more or we budgeted more and transferred more into that fund uh, for the grant. Uh, the only significant changes that we saw were that uh, we ended up transferring a little bit more money out of the uh, sanitation fund and the water store fund to cover these grants and some overages and some of the uh, other funds. Uh, we did increase uh, general fund expenditures a little bit uh, uh, because of additional uh, spending that we did for some, some projects uh, that happened throughout the year. Um, do you have any specific questions? Any questions? So that all this has already taken place yeah. last year. Okay. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Yeah. Council Langman Smith. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to approve resolution number 2016-16, a resolution amending the approved and adopted budget for the fiscal year commencing July 1st, 2015 through June 30th, 2016, and for municipal purpose in the town of Silver City, New Mexico, transferring and appropriating funds thereof. Thank you. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor, I second the motion is stated. Is there any discussion? Yes, sir. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve resolution number 2016-16 as read. 
Roll call, please, Anne. Councilor Madison? Aye. Councilor Amon Smith? Aye. Councilor Wright? Aye. Councilor Cotter? Aye. Resolution 2016-16 passes. Item D under new business is the approval slash disapproval of resolution number 2016-617, the approval and adoption of the budget for the physical year commencing July 1, 2016 through July 30th, 2017. Mr. Brown. I'm Mary Council. This uh, is the final budget for Smell to the DFA. Um, basically, uh, this is an update of the beginning cash balances unaudited uh, for next fiscal year. Um, so, for instance, the biggest change in the general fund is, of course, the um, the change in the beginning cash balance from the original amount that. I, I told you back then was conservative of $500,000 to $799,000. We did decrease uh, revenue projections to be a little bit more cautious for next year. Uh, and the expenditures were increased from uh, 9.937 to 9. Wait. 9.437, can't read my own writing, 9.437 million to 9.505 million, about 40, 40 some thousand dollars increases uh, because we changed benefits and some increases that have been approved uh, this year. So that left us, left us with a, a, a 112th required reserve of 792,000. Uh, we are budgeting a ending cash balance of $974,000. So we're exceeding the 112 to be cautious. Um, the only other changes basically uh, in the total budget uh, are for any grants that we updated the, the grant amount, if we had got grant amounts, uh, and then the beginning cash balances. But other than that, it's, it's the same budget that you received originally. Any questions? Do I hear a motion? Mr. Mayor. Councilor Wright. I move to approve a resolution number 2016-17, approval and adoption of the budget for the fiscal year commencing July 1, 2016 through June 30th, 2017. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor, I will take that motion as stated. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes, thank you. Roll call, please, Anne. Councilor Conner? Aye. Councilor Ray? Aye. Councilor Anderson? Aye. Councilor Madison? Aye. Resolution 2016 17 passes unanimously. Um, I, I just want to take a quick minute to uh, thank Anita specifically because she does all the detail work on the budget. She does the hard stuff. Like and review all of it and, and check it out and make sure it's all right. But she does all the the detail. She's pulling her hair out last week while I was on vacation. Um, and then I also want to thank the, the accounting staff for the, the great job that they do. Okay. Thank you. Item E under new business is the approval slash disapproval of resolution number 2016-18, a resolution of the town council of the town of Silver City supporting the naming of the Hudson Street Bridge located on Highway 90 in Silver City as the Veterans Memorial Bridge. Councilor Ray. Thank you, Mayor. Again, I want to thank the local veterans group, Mr. Davis, Pancho, uh, for allowing me to bring up this resolution for, in front of the town council. It is with great honor that I think that we should have a bridge named after the veterans or for the veterans. And we need to have something like that done 
more often. And hopefully that we can get our groups together and have some sort of a celebration there in Hudson Street, whether it be um, the Marine, the Marine Corps, everybody, Marine Corps guys of the American Legion, ourselves, and present the flags. Maybe I can get a class from Jose Barrios to come and sing some songs for us. And with that, I thank you. And does the council have any comments or questions or you guys out there? No? Okay, well, thank you. And with that, I move to approve a resolution number 2016-18, a resolution of the town council of the town of Sewer City supporting the naming of the Hudson Street Bridge located on Highway 90 in Silver City as the Veterans Memorial Bridge. We have a motion, a second. So may I have a second, a motion is stated. Councilor Cano, any discussion? We have a motion and a second to approve resolution number 2016-18 as read. Roll call please, Ann. Councilor Cano? Aye. Councilor Ray? Aye. Councilor Eamon Smith? Aye. Councilor Bettison? Aye. The voting is in the affirmative unanimously. Resolution number 2016-18 passes. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Mr. Brown, I'm just curious uh, if the State Transportation Department accepts this and, and allows us to do this, uh, what would we need to close off the bridge or part of the bridge in, in order to have a dedication service at some point? I, I think we'll just have to get some permits from the state. I mean, just, just, just authority and then have the police take care of it. Okay. <laughs> Item F. Oh, I'm sorry. Go right ahead. We'll let you speak. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Mayor, could, could you identify yourself, please? Uh, Ray Davis, uh, Commander of the American Legion Post here in Silver City. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Town Council, and, and uh, members of the city, I appreciate this very much on behalf of all the veterans, uh, whether they're in the uh, Army or the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Navy, or the Coast Guard, all past, present, and future veterans appreciate it very, very much. It's a real honor. Thank you. Thank you. Item F under new business is the approval slash disapproval of resolution number 2016-20, participation in local government road fund program administered by the New Mexico Department of Transportation. Mr. Brown? Oh, Peter, okay. Go ahead. So uh, what this resolution will do is it'll let, us into, it'll let us enter into a cooperative agreement with the NMDOT through the local government road fund. What we use this funding for is it partially funds or about 50% of our annual chip and fog seal project uh, there is a, a map or a list of streets with a map that shows uh, the streets that we're wanting to do. These streets are located basically in the northern part of the of the town, uh, behind the high school and behind the, the hospital. And with that, I'll take any questions. Okay. Councilor Beston. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so this is uh, the northern part of District, parts of the northern part of District 1, with a little of District 2 of around 41st and, and Gold. Um, are, is this map published on the town's website? So the, uh, I have, No, but I can place it on there. I think that would be great so the residents uh, know. And is there anything that um, it, there'll be something in the paper like there's been in the past and hopefully on the website letting them know when the streets would be paid so that they don't have cars yes. and things? Yes, we always put it in the website. We always put it in the daily paper. This project in itself will be done next year. Uh, we're getting ready to do our annual project for this year. It's set for August 1st through the 5th, and we've already put it in the paper. And this one will begin next year at the same time? About the same time, correct. 
Great. Well, I know that the folks in that area are looking forward to having, and even if it's not a year, looking forward to having yes, uh, the street, streets read up. Usually that's how it works. The, the funding comes about a, a, a year. It will be for the following year. Okay, great. So, but we we do have money for this year and, and for next year, and we'll be uh, putting in another proposal in March for the following year. Correct. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, so this year, though, you're going to be doing the section over uh, west of uh, Little Walnut and north of 12th Street. It might be good to put that in the, on the town website too. That okay. that map. I'll go ahead and put that in. It's, it's in the daily press, and we've been telling people that there's going to be detours, there's going to be slight delays, um, you know, that we're going to have signage out there. We're asking people to please drive slow because initially when we do our Chipsville project, the, the, there is some loose gravel. So if you drive real fast through there, you know, there's a chance you throw uh, rocks towards other cars, breaking windows. So we're asking people to please drive slow. Um, we will complete the project within a week. The following week, we'll start cleaning up everything. We should have everything back to normal in about two weeks. Okay. okay. Do I hear a motion? Yes, Councilor Boston. I move to approve resolution number 2016-20, participation in local government road fund program administered by the New Mexico Department of Transportation. Thank you. Is there a second? Yeah. Councilor Amon Smith. Mr. Mayor, I second that motion is stated. Okay, we have a second and uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please, Ann. Councilor Madison? Aye. Councilor Amon Smith? Aye. Councilor Ray? Aye. Councilor Connor? Aye. Motion, a uh, resolution number 2016 20 passes unanimously. Thank you, Peter. The next item on the agenda, uh, the last item on the agenda is uh, for action, is uh, the approval slash disapproval of the selection of a voting delegate and alternate to vote in the New Mexico Municipal League's annual conference. Uh, before I was elected mayor, I had a commitment already when this uh, annual meeting is going to be, so I won't be able to attend this year. Uh, however, Mayor Pro Tem Bedston and Councilor Tano will be attending. So uh, I uh, recommend that we uh, appoint Councilor Bedston as the voting delegate and Councilor Cano as the alternate. Can I have a motion on that, please? Yes, sir. Councilor Payman Smith. Thank you, sir. I move to approve uh, the selection of uh, Councilor Benison as our voting delegate and Councilor Connell as our alternate to vote at the New Mexico Municipal League's annual conference. Okay. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor. Councilor Ray. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? Yes, sir. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion passes. The, this concludes the business of the Town of Silver City Town Council meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? Mr. Mayor, I move to adjourn. <laughs> we have a motion. Is there a second? Mr. Mayor, I second the motion. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.